Welcome to Salesforce training videos from SP Tech. SP Tech is Salesforce consulting services based in Atlanta, Georgia. Hello everyone. In this module, you will learn about the standard and custom objects those are available in Salesforce. So if you want to begin uh, with Salesforce, so basically uh, you need to understand what object is. So if I compare Salesforce with Excel, so in Excel, basically you create a sheet where you fill all the data in rows and columns. So in same way, if you want to uh, enter data in Salesforce, so basically first you need to create the object where you need to create certain fields and under those fields, you will be entering the data. So let's understand it with the help of standard object. So the objects which are provided by Salesforce by default, those are known as standard objects. And the objects which we create are known as custom objects. So here you can see various tabs are available like opportunities, leads, tasks, files, notes, accounts, contexts, etc. So if I click on accounts, so it means I'm opening tab and tab is internally linked with the object. And here you can see we have this uh, record so if i click on this and go to details so basically this is one record which is stored under a object so whatever information in salesforce you store that goes directly under a object and it stores in terms of records and on records if you see these things phone fax website so these are known as fields now let's jump into backend of salesforce so I'm just jumping into setup and clicking on object manager. So here you can see list of objects. So object type is available. So some objects are standard objects and some objects are custom objects. So with the help of this type, you can easily identify which are standard and which are custom. So custom objects are provided by default uh, by Salesforce. So whenever you will be creating your account, uh, and having developer edition instance so you will be seeing all the standard objects will be available automatically if i open this object so here you will see the details of this object and if you click on fields and relationships so here you will see lots of fields are already available for this standard object now if i come here again and open contact so again uh, we don't have any contact created as of now but if you have any contact, so that will be available here. So let me create a contact record. So here I am providing my name. So first name, last name, then account name is required. So we need to populate that as well. So basically what I did, I just linked account record with this contact. So this we will understand later on, like how these two objects are linked. And I'm clicking on save. So here, if I click on this contacts again, so you will see one contact. If I open this, go to details. So again, you can see this is contact record where you can see various fields like phone, mobile, email reports to title, lead amount. So all these are fields and collection of fields all together creates a record and all the records are stored under object. So this way, I hope you understood how standard objects are working. Now, if there's a requirement, if there's a business use case, uh, like you need to create one net new object. So that object will be known as custom object. And you might be wondering like how I can create my first object. So it is uh, pretty simple and straightforward. You just need to go here under object manager and top right corner, you can see a button that is create which will open a pick list where two options are available custom object and custom object from spreadsheet so if you have a spreadsheet where you have uh, columns already created so you can import that but if you want to create it in salesforce manually so you can select this option custom object so i'm going to create a custom object and naming it as employee so here you need to understand this as well so Object label will be employee, plural label. So it is also important. So if I take you here, so you can see all the tabs are having plural labels like accounts, contacts, campaigns, test ports. 
So this plural label will be used by tab automatically. So object label will be employed and if you create tab for that object so that you can place it on any application. So there you will be using this plural label then object name. So this basically uh, also known as API. So when you will be using this object in your code. So you need to use this unique name that is object name and it is known as API as well. And if you create any custom object, so it is all automatically appended with underscore underscore C. Then here you can provide any description. So this is a custom object which will record employee related data. Then another thing which is important is record name. So this is a field which is created automatically whenever you are creating any object. So here we have two types. One is text and one is auto number. So in an organization like each employee will be having an ID and uh, that ID is unique, which is uh, like automatically created. So if you want to have that scenario in Salesforce, so what you can do, you can choose data type as auto number and here you can uh, provide display format. So here you can type E hyphen curly basis then 0000 curly basis closed. And if you understand what is uh, this, so you can uh, click on this link and you will find the complete article uh, related to different display formats. So you can go through with that and accordingly you can provide the display format. And here you can provide the starting number. So first employee record auto number will be 0001. And here I am relabeling it as employee number. Then these are some optional features that we will be enabling later on as and when required. Some features are already enabled, so you can leave it as is. Then at the bottom, you can see this is important. Launch new custom tab wizard after saving this custom object. So if you want to access this object, so uh, you need to create its tab because without creating tab, you won't be able to access the object from the UI, right? So at the back end, you can access the object through object manager, but if you don't have any tab, then you won't be able to view that from the UI. So I enabled this checkbox now clicking on save. So automatically tab creation page will be opened. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this tab style. So you can select any tab style from here. And if you want to provide any description, so this is a custom tab, then click on next. Now, if you are creating a tab, so you need to add this tab to profile as well. So profile basically provides permission to users uh, what they can access and what they cannot. So this also we will understand later uh, in detail. So as of now, you can see here we have two options. Apply one tab visibility to all profile and apply a different tab visibility for each profile. So I am uh, selecting first only. And three options are available default on default off and tab hidden. So if you choose default on, it means your tab can be visible here. If you choose default off. So in that case, what will happen? Your tab will be available here in case of default off, right? So these all are tabs. If I want to search for accounts, so accounts tab is available here. And if you choose tab hidden so you won't be able to view your tab it is hidden uh, so uh, these three options are available so if you want uh, a particular tab is default on for some profiles default off for some and tab hidden for some so you can choose this second option and like here you can pick any option for particular profile so for this default off for this tab hidden so accordingly you can choose but as of now, I am choosing this option and selecting one tab visibility for all profiles. Clicking on next. Now, here it is asking to add uh, this custom tab to different apps. So we have various apps in this org, but I am going to place this on only one org that is sales. Later on, I will also demonstrate you like how you can create your custom application. So here you can see again, I placed 
uh, this tab on sales application only and i'm going to click on save so right now we are on sales application and if i go to more so you won't be able to see employee tab right and here uh, if i come back so you can see this object is created so let me just refresh it from the ui so that you can view the tab here it is if i click here so employee tab will be open and here we will be able to create the records before creation of record let me jump to object manager where this employee object is available so this is the api name which is appended with underscore underscore c singular label is the label of uh, this object and plural label we are using as a tab you can see it here and if i go to object manager so here you can search employee and it is custom object right so this way uh, you can create your first custom object and now if you want to create any record so you can click on new but you won't be uh, able to provide any details because right now we have not created any field we just created the object so in uh, upcoming module i will explain you how you can create uh, fields so that you can provide information under your custom object thank you if you are based in usa and looking to start or advanced your career with salesforce please reach out to us at hr@sptechusa.com please subscribe to our youtube channel for more salesforce training videos thank you